Joining us now, Congressman Jeff Van Drew from House Judiciary. Great to see you, Congressman. Um, this story, are lawmakers worried voters are not getting enough transparency about what happened in Butler, Pennsylvania? Thanks, Liz. Uh, it's good to be with you. Let, let me say this. I'm going to be, as you know, I'm a candid person. Um, we can have the task force. They're doing a wonderful job. I appreciate them. They're going to accumulate facts. I believe they probably will have to eventually subpoena to get all the information. I don't think any of the agencies has been as forthright as they should be. We should know more at this point. But here's the deal. With all the investigations, with all the hearings, with the task force, with all of it, we will give, that will provide information and ammunition to do what has to be done because otherwise these agencies will continue down the same road that they have gone all along. And by that I mean when President Donald Trump is president again, he needs to really shake up the top levels, the leadership in the CIA, if in the FBI, in the Attorney General's office, uh, in the Secret Service, in all of these agencies, including, God help us, uh, Alejandro Mayorkas uh, and what he does. Um, all of it needs to be shooken up because no task force, no, I don't want just the same thing where we got a result, we've got a, a, a report that goes up on a shelf somewhere and gets dusty. We need change. This never should have happened, and I could tell you why, but I don't want to take too much time. Yeah, well, we want to hear it because there's concern, there's stonewalling. I mean, we've had four presidents assassinated in the U.S., four, uh, at least four others shot. We know the Secret Service agents, five of them were put on leave, and the then director of the Secret Service has already resigned. But you're saying you want a full house cleaning all throughout um, DHS, FBI, and CIA. I mean, we, we understand the FBI is doing uh, probes and there's congressional hearings, but the, the investigators are still not any closer to why specifically the shooter targeted Trump. You know what? I'm thankful to my colleagues who serve on this bipartisan task force. It's not a criticism of them. They're doing well. But the American people are tired of it. We have task force. We have hearings. We do all this stuff. And it's good because it gives us information. But it's what we do with the information. So some agents are now at home, still getting paid a salary, uh, still not telling us what we really need to know. And you know the bottom line is? President Trump never, ever should have been on that stage. There was somebody that was seen an hour before that was on a rooftop. He immediately should have been pulled off the stage. He shouldn't have been on it, and we know that to be a fact. So the bottom line is there should have been uh, more communication. That didn't exist. You know, when we had the rally in Wildwood, we, I was involved in that one. What we did was make sure we had a communication tower there. We put a special tower in. There were meetings, pre-meetings between local police, sheriff's department, and the Secret Service and others. We had individuals all over protecting. I don't know what the hell went wrong, but they better produce the information because it's not going to get fixed now before the election. I guarantee you that. But pray to God when we have uh, the election and hope, pray to God we get a new president uh, and a new vice president. We go in there and put people that are more worried about the safety of the United States of America than they are about policing personal pronouns and all the other woke stuff that these agencies are involved in now. Congressman Van Drew, thanks for joining us tonight. It's good to see you. Now this Thank story, you. reports are coming.